Everyone say hi, YouTube, first of all. Hi, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Okay, so I made the great mistake of asking Twitter. Maybe not a mistake. Maybe it was a great thing. But I made the action, the decision, to ask Twitter, say something bad about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And for those of you that don't even watch my channel or Smash Bros. stuff, just know the context is Ultimate is the latest Smash game. And at this point, this game has been out, I think, for five years, give or take. Not so new anymore. And time is flying by way too fast. I also said extra credit if you don't mention DLC characters, because DLC characters, namely Steve, are very hated, and I wanted to get some other perspectives. All right? Without further ado, some of the top replies included Aiden Calvin, who said, Sitting down at a new tournament setup and having to wait for each player to set up their personal set of controls so you can play a seven-minute set just kills me. And this is something I think everyone can agree with sucks. In Melee, because there is only one control scheme, you plug in, you pick a stage, and you're playing in less than 30 seconds. Even in tournament. You can start a tournament set in 30 seconds. In Ultimate, I've never had a single Ultimate set, I think, ever in bracket start in, in under like a minute and a half. It just takes a while to go into the controls, to the controls... I hate when the guys test it out, too. I'm like, why are you testing it? You know it works. Anyways, that's one of the things I definitely dislike about it. It's a little gripe, but it's a, it's, it's a, a fair gripe. Leffen, with 3,000 likes on this comment, said, Most or many of the people who compete in this game would have more fun and be happier if they took the time to get over the barrier of entry of playing another game. And then his first reply was, Tweet asked you to talk about the game not slander the player base SMH and Leffen said if the game was better this would not be the case I believe it's, it is more of a critique of the uh, community of Ultimate but he's saying the game itself is what caused the community to be the way that it is which interesting take I'm not saying it's right or wrong I'm just getting perspectives here uh, the lack of advanced tech movement getting stuck on plats really sucks when I think of getting stuck on plats I think of, um, there, there's, there's, li there's little weird things. It's like, it's like, I call it like platform glue. Like imagine there's two platforms and like run off and do something. And just like the way the game is programmed, it's not as slippery as Melee is, but because of that, like some, sometimes I, I, I want that slipperiness, you know, sometimes, sometimes I actually want that to be the case. Kony legitimately can't think of a single thing. <laughs> Your Bowser, perhaps Harris. I wish I could buy cooler skins. Again, Nintendo dropped a fat multi-million dollar bomb by not doing that. Uh, Mav, saying bad online is low-hanging fruit because that's been a Nintendo problem, period. Let's go with the awful buffering system. Why do they think it was a good idea to let the player buffer move two years before it comes out? I've seen so many SDs and matches because of it. This one's interesting, right? Because you can say, to some you can say like, buffer is a good thing. To some you can say buffer is a bad thing. I'm a melee player, so I'm used to the very little buffer. I think buffer was added to be uh, more forgiving to a lot of players. But there is, I think, a good middle ground between having too much buffer and too little. Uh, perfect Legend. The netcode, the high input delay. The game doesn't let you use a D-pad to move your character. I guess, yeah. The super duper whack training mode, it doesn't let you set up real situations, thus holding back people from leveling up efficiently. And the D-pad complaint here is kind of valid because Perfect Legend is more of an FGC player. A lot of the best players in the world for fighting games in Street Fighter, some of them, they use pad, you know? And it's very, very possible to use pad and win. So it's an interesting complaint there. I mean, more options is always a good thing. And of course, the, the online for it definitely sucks. It's not melee. Kill it or... And then Shinda says, Buffer system online is bad. No squad strike for online. Eh. Legacy clone character should have been redesigned. I like this complaint because as someone brought up in Melee, Ganondorf only feels like Falcon because he was a clone of Falcon in Melee. That's it. Otherwise, he would have been his own thing. It would have been good. No break the targets. No spirit description. Training room is bad. Is it because of the inputs? I feel like a lot of people use training, training room successfully in this game. I feel like of all the Smash games, this is the best training room that we've had. We go to the quotes, this is where it gets interesting. Brown Town. Losing to this guy.
Moving on, TC Nick 3. Why do I have to wait three business days for my favorite skin to load? It is true. Those those skins on the character select screen take forever to load. It's one of those weird things about it. And apparently the reason has to do with the stages loading behind the game. I don't know. It just seems like one of the things that's been overlooked. Kind of could have been faster. I have never seen a game whose community held its success back more than Smash Ultimate. Let me just uh, hack for a second here. Let's change this, of course, to uh, developer. Hey, I fixed it. All right, I fixed the tweet. Great point, Riku. I agree. Mega Whack, this technically applies to most of the Smash entries, but why the F do I need to Mario Party match my control stick to get out of a buried or grab state? I don't want to break my $70 or $80 controller that's not in production anymore. The only move I truly think about this is, is Roller. Inkling Roller. I think Inkling Roller, the inputs required to break out of Inkling Roller are like actually abhorrent. That's actually stupid. Griffin Miller, Fatality Falcon. I wish its content outside of simply playing other people was better. Game gets old fast if you don't have people you want to goon around with, especially since CPUs blatantly don't play like actual people and just react to inputs. So more stuff to play single player mode, more ways to get better when you don't have people around you. That's a that's a valid point. I will say I think I think the, I think the one player content is lacking. Nick Riddle SSB, who fun fact is Esam's older brother. It is impossible to become good at this game using tools in the game. This is a complete this is completely unacceptable aspect for a modern fighting game. Is this valid like if you are stuck by yourself on a deserted island with no internet, but you have power and you have a copy of the latest version of Street Fighter, and you have it for a year, could you get extremely good at Street Fighter just playing the game itself with no other human opponents? Maybe that's more of a, like a philosophical thing. Because he's got a point. In Smash, you can't do that. Smash, no matter how many tutorials you read, you need to just play against people because people are always better than computers as accessible as the online mode is in this game the gameplay and aspect of online is absolute shit and inconsistent imagine if it was nearly as good as offline how much more online tournaments and content would pop off i agree if if smash had rollback the online era would be so good coin box would be fuck it would be it'll be amazing it's one of the only ways we're getting it is if they re-release it in smash ultimate deluxe with more characters but it's one of it's always been one of Nintendo's like lowest priorities, I feel. So I don't think that actually applies. CT, the lackluster payout isn't worth the amount of stress y'all go through trying to take this party game seriously. Uh, low payout's definitely a part of local scenes and tournaments in general. But then, as someone in 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 in, in chat said, you have Japan, which has no payouts, and they still put themselves to that stress for a love of the game. You know, what I just realized. Maybe because Japan has no payouts, it's that hard to make like a living off of it. Maybe that's why the culture around it is, is so different, right? You're only going to have people who are like ultra passionate for it. You're not going to have people just saying like, well, I need to make a living, so I have to play. Because I think when, when it becomes a job, it's that you start to hate it, right? I made it my job. And until I was like into content and I had a more secure sponsorship, I definitely hated playing it for, uh, for a living. I loved having a job on the side that I could rely on. Uh, the beatings will continue until morale improves. <laughs> what What do you guys think is the worst hitbox in the entire game? This one's down there, for sure. This one's kind of funny. There's a lot of bad ones. Not including subspace was insane. This was the best way to introduce a character. Oh. Subspace was so oh. sick, dude. <laughs> there was a there was a there was a magic to subspace. If Nintendo embraced the competitive scene for this game, they could have had one of the largest flourishing esports in history. All the success in the scene is done despite Nintendo's best efforts to squash it. Facts! It could have been huge! Enormous! Like stupid big! The fact this game doesn't have an actual good ranking system because the creator said so. It's so stupid. It has GSP, but there is no online ladder. It's true. I should not need several modifiers for online to be playable. A valid point. Alts can range from as good as this to shit like this. They did Lucario dirty, I'm not gonna lie. The alts have massive range in terms of quality. Arguably at its lowest point right now in terms of competitive morale. The series with the worst representation. Uh, 
and no, because you have these four and Zelda and Sheik. I don't know if you heard that one. They removed one of the greatest glitches in video game history. Yeah. How has the game not crashed yet? There we go. And last one I'll say, the complete abandonment of the game in terms of patches post DLC has to be the worst thing of this game in my opinion. Also, also a valid point. That's about generally what the gripes are about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. How about you, chap? Is there any, is there any comments in mind uh, that you didn't see here that you think is something worth talking about this game that makes it bad? Training mode sucks. We know Steve. We know DLC characters. Nintendo. World of Light bad. Roy needs buffs. I don't think that's the case. Buffer system. Six default frames of lag online. The music in general is mid. Last one hit the nail on the head. It's very clear when the characters are from older games. Some good remixes need more, more in-game tournaments. Can't pick status online. Oh, I mean an, an elite. Sephiroth being too light. Never changed or nerfed Sora once. That character is since launch. C-stick buffer changes are dookie. Everyone say bye, YouTube. This is why people hate Ultimate.